What's up guys, it's Tom here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to talk about some prospects who have performed well and I think need more recognition. And today we'll start at the shortstop position. Obviously there's the big time prospects who have performed well and have smashed all year long. You got Bobby Witt Jr., you know, Bryson Stott, Marco Luciano, and also Aurelvis Martinez. For all the prospect nerds and junkies out there, make sure to comment down below one prospect you think we should all have on our radar going forward. And it doesn't have to be a shortstop either. So with that being said, let's go. We'll start with Vaughn Grissom in the break Braves organization. He was an 11th round pick in the 2019 draft and the Braves actually paid over slot value for him. He is 21 years old and has a 6 foot 3, 180 pound body. So there's some room to work there to get more weight on and get some more power. And I'll talk about that in a second. Right now, he's at the shortstop position, but he could profile better as a third baseman in the future. This year, he played at the A ball level. Some things that jump out at me are the 10.4% walk rate and the 14.9% K rate. Those are both great when you're you're looking at a prospect and looking at his plate discipline and maturity at the plate. I believe for Grissom, the power will come over time as he gains a little more weight on his six foot three frame. Also, he ended the year super hot at high A ball, 21.2 walk rate, 9.6% K rate. Granted, it is in 52 plate appearances. He had two home runs and a 196 WRC plus in 52 plate appearances. So if he's even in the ballpark of doing that again next year, the high level and then eventually the double a level he'll be a quick riser let's move over to a more high risk prospect in my opinion ezekiel duran of the texas rangers he's a big power guy that's where he makes his money he came to the rangers organization in the joey gallo trade in my personal opinion i think he profiles better as a second baseman but he has played shortstop and he has also played some third base as well in the fall league. His biggest problem is definitely a strikeout problem that he is having, especially when he came to the Rangers organization. When he was with the Yankees in high A ball, he was doing really well. And then when he came to the Rangers, it seemed he started to struggle a bit. But between the two clubs, he still finished with 19 home runs in just about 470 60 plate appearances somewhere in that area so that's still a good amount of home runs and power potential however he just needs to cut the strikeouts down but we got some good news because he did just that in the arizona fall league in the arizona fall league he hit 278 with a 944 ops three home runs and here's the kicker the best part only nine strikeouts in 78 plate appearances for a K rate of 11.5. So that is a drastic improvement, even though it's a small sample size. Hopefully he can replicate this in the next year. Next up, we have Jose Tina of the Cleveland Guardians organization. Fun fact, he is the nephew of Juan Uribe. He is a 20 year old, 5'10", 160 pound middle infielder. He has really good bat to ball skills. And I think this is his best tool that he has along with the plus speed as well. In high A ball, he hit 281. He had 16 home runs, 26.2 K rates. Now that's nothing terrible. It is a slightly above average at the major league level. However, with his bat to ball skills, I think he is going to be just fine going forward. Just has to refine his approach a tiny bit. He is so aggressive with his swing at the plate. He takes absolute daddy hacks. And when he hits the ball, it goes a long ways. However, it's a double edged sword because it seems like that might be the reason why he is striking out a little too much. Once again, Jose Jose Tina's another guy that had a great Arizona Fall League showing this year. He hit 387 with a 467 on base percentage and a 983 OPS and was the batting champion of the Arizona Fall League. My final guy I want to talk about today is with the Kansas City Royals organization, and that is Nick Lofton. He was the Royals 2020 first round pick out of Baylor. He gets the Whit Merrifield comparison instantly. However, I've seen some people talk about how he is not like Whit Merrifield. I think from a statistics standpoint, he looks like Whit Merrifield just with less speed, but more power potential. If you watch Nick Lofton play, especially at that one college tournament where they played at the Houston Astros stadium, he had some mammoth power. I mean, he really punishes inside pitches, hit it over the train tracks, a Jorge Soler style. So if you can get Jorge Soler type power once in a blue moon 
with Nick Lofton, especially with the approach he has at the plate and discipline, I think you're going to be golden. From what I've seen and my amateur scouting, YouTube stat line scouting, I've come to the conclusion that I think he gets into pretty good counts, which sets him up for success most of the time. You can see it in his stats, a 14.6 K rate, 10.2 walk rate along with a 289 average and 10 home runs in 410 plate appearances so we got very good stuff from nick lofton right here a first round pick in 2020 his first year playing pro ball he did really well he is one of the guys that has all the tools he's good on defense as well and you can kind of plug and play him anywhere i guess but i do like him at shortstop going forward i would say nick lofton is the lowest risk player out of all these guys he is a first round pick so obviously he is very talented and the royals think of him very highly i hope to do a series on prospects especially ones that go under the radar so let me know down in the comments some prospects i should talk about in the future don't forget to go check out my previous video talking about what your favorite mlb player says about you make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel the setup's looking a little new you know we got this brand new mic awesome mic right here hopefully the audio sounds very crisp in this video and it will going forward as well. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.